NFL meeting over league's inmates comes to screeching halt after what Cowboys owner Jerry Jones did. The social justice warriors that make up the NFL just got some bad news about their latest efforts. Despite most of the team owners in the National Football League not lifting a finger to stop their players from disrespecting the flag, at least two owners took a more proactive stance at a recent meeting. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has been the most outspoken supporter of the national anthem, declaring that any player who disrespected it wouldn't be playing. That stance has gotten him some respectful players and delighted fans. Up until Sunday of this week, the only other team that had an equally untarnished reputation was the Houston Texans. The Texans had been the only team whose players hadn't knelt for the anthem at all. However, during a recent owners' meeting with NFL Brass, Texans CEO and owner Bob McNair made a comment about the anthem protest saying that the league shouldn't let the inmates run the prison. Those, now famous comments made the overly sensitive players freak out, for lack of a better word picture. The players threw a glorified temper tantrum with almost the entire team kneeling during Sunday's game against the Seahawks. Players across the league are insisting that the league meet with them to discuss the abuse that they're suffering at the hands of the guys who sign their million-dollar contracts. According to Breitbart News Breitbart, the owners aren't going to be held captive by their own teams. Not only are they putting off dealing with the players' insurrection, they're looking to get NFL Commissioner Goodell ousted for not fixing this problem before it got this bad. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, one of the few team owners to openly criticize the NFL's ever-present national anthem protests, has a new target in his sights. According to reports, Jones is working to stall Commissioner Roger Goodell's extension. According to reports, Jones led a secret conference call of a group of perhaps as many as 17 owners to discuss Goodell's handling of the national anthem protests was at the top of the list of complaints against him, the New York Post reported. Indeed, over the weekend a meeting that was scheduled for this week between the players and the owners was abruptly cancelled with no replacement date reported, ESPN's Jim Trotter reported. Proposed meeting between NFL owners and players coalition is off for Monday, per source. Sides are hitting reset button for later meeting. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, one of the few team owners to openly criticize the NFL's ever-present national anthem protests, has a new target in his sights. According to reports, Jones is working to stall Commissioner Roger Goodell's extension. According to reports, Jones led a secret conference call of a group of perhaps as many as 17 owners to discuss Goodell's handling of the national anthem protests was at the top of the list of complaints against him, the New York Post reported. Indeed, over the weekend a meeting that was scheduled for this week between the players and the owners was abruptly cancelled with no replacement date reported, ESPN's Jim Trotter reported. Proposed meeting between NFL owners and players coalition is off for Monday, per source. Sides are hitting reset button for later meeting. Sides had meeting tentatively scheduled for Monday in D.C. Then yesterday players coalition requested smaller session in Philly with Kep. With so much confusion, sides agreed to hit reset button, I'm told. Whether that's good or bad depends on your perspective. At this point, the owners feel that Goodell isn't doing his job, because he's refused to facilitate the promotion of the game of football on a national level. The NFL has become a laughing stock at best, and a national embarrassment at worst. Even if the past two months of slow motion crashing and burning weren't enough to convince us, this week's demonstration of players punishing their owner by reserving their respect for the flag was proof positive that the league is out of control. If the players were looking to disprove McNair's comments, they were not at all successful. However, this protest wasn't the beginning and end of Goodell's discretion. The team owners have been displeased with the way he's handled practically every crisis that has happened during his tenure as commissioner. But Jones and the owners who oppose Goodell are not focusing solely on the anthem protest mess. They are also still reeling over Goodell's mishandling of the Ray Rice domestic abuse case as well as the increasingly disastrous decision to allow the San Diego Chargers to move to Los Angeles. You don't get to have this many messes over the years like Roger has had and survive it, an owner anonymously told ESPN. 
Reporters also point out that Goodell's contract extension has not been finalized. Maybe Arthur, blank, the head of the compensation committee, and that committee think they're on track, the owner said. But they have a lot more resistance than they counted on, and maybe they don't know how the resistance is growing as we speak. The NFL is looking for new, stronger leadership, and the more these out-of-control players prove their destructive tendencies the more likely that the team owners will choose someone who will rule with an iron fist. If the players were trying to preserve their right to protest on the field, they've officially overplayed their hands and the team owners are about to fix the problem. The problem.